the awam, the masses of the people, what do they want to know? What do they want to hear? What do they want to learn? What do they want to be awakened up with? Wake them up with the days of Allah, of returning back to Allah. Awaken them with a final ayah inside the Quran, verse 283 of Surah Al-Baqarah, as Imam Suyuti mentioned. Awaken them. Fear that then you go back to Allah. You meet Allah. Islam is a simple life, a simple message, a simple pattern. You find You find three things that go with a dead individual. Simple life it is for a believer. Three things travel with you when you enter into the grave. Your, your family members, your wealth, and your actions. Two of them, which are beloved to all of us as we began one's wealth, and one's children, they return. They walk away. What remains with a person? The only thing that remains in all of us inside our graves and a day of standing is what our actions. And that's why this blessed brother, Fala Harish to mention his brother that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give due reward to Ali Bala who passed away. Years of suffering. You know, this is what you call an intelligent individual. That's what you call an intelligent individual. And maybe this is what you call a secret blessing that he knows he's going to leave this dunya. We don't know when we're going to leave this dunya. But possibly he's outsmarted all of us. That he knows that I'm leaving this dunya. So let me get prepared, equip myself to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing to be sad about for him. There's nothing to be sad about. Because Allah gave him the opportunity to know what he's doing. We should be sad. I don't know what's going to happen to me with my life. You don't know what's going to happen to you with yourself, with your lives. None of us know. But the least that we can do is awaken ourselves and begin to plan our life towards those actions that will benefit us. The only thing that remains with a person would be the actions.